So the next step is filling these outer shells in. And if you notice, the configuration looks exactly like a mercury configuration. So that's the one that we're going to use, the mercury algorithm and not the Venus one. And that's because in mercury, we had one that was, we'll, we'll do blue, a bandage at the top, just above a non-bandage at the bottom. And in order to make it work, we have to have one of our ba uh, non-bandaged in the front of us and one in the right of, uh, well, front of us and the right of us. Actually, it doesn't really matter. As long as in, in the front, you can do it from any perspective. Um, you can't do it here. It's not going to work if you do the algorithm. Um, but you can do it here. So there's the right and the left permutation. So we'll just start putting things in place. What this algorithm is going to do is it's going to move this to here, this to either here or here or back here, depending on what D maneuver you use. See the Mercury tutorial to really explain that further. But anyway, we can deconstruct it, do the algorithm and reconstruct it any way we, any way we want. So I'm going to move this here so I got the red. So red to orange. So this will bat that in here. Orange to, well, is there an orange that we can use? Yeah, back here. I'll do a 2D. Orange will be here. The yellow will be up here. So that's going to be the end result of that. So on the right side, it's going to be R, U, I, R, I, F, R, I, F, I, R. So that puts it here. In this case, we'll do a 2D to move this in. And then we finish it up with an R, I, F, R, F, I, R, U, R, I. Puts that back in here, and then move over here. Well, we can move it back, but we did put the red one in, and we put uh, an orange one in. So how about here? Yellow to yellow. Can we find a wayward white? Yeah, right there. So it'll replace it with the green. So I'm just going to keep filling things in that way. Again, in our permutation, R U I R I F R I F I R I. 2D, it could be D, it could be DI, uh, in this case 2D, R I F R F I U here. Move it in. So slowly but surely, we're hacking away at it. Okay, here's a green. I'm going to actually orient it over here. We can move this up here, green here, white to white. So this is perfect. This is a three way because this green will move into here, this white will move into here, and this blue will move into here. And as you recall, the left sided permutation is going to be. Yeah, it's going to be L I U L F I L F L I. There's the green here. Move this blue up here. Then we have L F I L I F L I U I L. Put the white back here and then deconstruct it back. So we actually made pretty good ground with that one. All right, how about this green? Got a green here. We'll move this up. Green to green here, red, any reds? Yeah, we can use this one. So our permutation, R, U, I, R, I, F, R, I, F, I, R, I, move it here. R, I, F, R, F, I, R, U, back down. And just remember to move it back and find our way home. We don't want to make it too complicated. Okay, we've got a lot of orange, uh, yellows to deal with, so maybe we should do that next. See, I don't have to always have this on the top. It could be any of my non bandage So let's say I, I put it over here. As long as I now reorient it, because it's always going to be non bandaged on the bottom, bandaged on the top, and I'm just going to have non-bandages in front of me. So let's start working on our yellow. We can go here to here, here to, well, let's move this blue one over here. So here to here, here to here, here to here. Almost a three-way, a two-way. So we have R, U, I, R, I, F, R, I, F, I, R, move this here, R, I, F, R, F, I, R, U, down, and back. Okay, so we filled that in over here. Let's do here to here. Do we have a green? Yeah, we can move this in, and that's a three-way, because yellow here, green here, orange here. Perfect. L permutation, L I U L F I L F L I. Put that in here. Put this in here. And then we've got L F I L I F L I U I down and back. So in many ways, this is easier than the Mercury Cube because I've got so many different perspectives I could use. So we're filling this in nicely. Um, let's shake it up a little bit. Maybe do a white one here. This can go here. 
This can go here, this can go here. So another three-way. R, U, I, R, I, F, I, F, I, here. R, I, F, R, F, I, R, E, U, here. Now, any of you catch what just happened? Nothing happened. Nothing happened because I have this in the right place, but this is a non-banded side, so the end result was nothing. So we have to make sure we move it here. Now let's see if we can do it again, only do it the right way. This to here, this to here. So now watch what happens when I do it correctly. We have R, U, I, R, I, F, R, I, F, I, R. Bring this over here. R, I, F, R, F, I, R, U, F, I, C. Perfect. And look how much ground I, I gained. One three-way really means a lot. So I'm going to move this up here and this across here. So this can go here. Okay, I'm going to move this up here. I just have to remember what I did. This can go here, this can go here, this can go here. So, not too shabby. I just have to remember how to find my way home. R, U, I, R, I, F, R, I, F, I. Bring this up, bring this across. R, I, F, R, F, I, R, U, down and here. So, that's pretty good. Now, can we find our way home? It's usually easier than you think to do that. Maybe this goes here. Maybe this goes here. This goes here. <laughs> I panicked a little bit, but that's okay. So now it snuck up on me, but I only have two left. Okay, move this to here, move this to here, move this here. So this to here, this to... Okay, now watch this. I'm gonna move this down here. So this yellow goes here, this orange goes here, and this comes up here, and that should solve the rest of it with a L permutation. I didn't want to make it too confusing either. Hopefully I'll be able to find my way back home. So we have um, L-I, U-L, F-I, L-F, L-I, brings that up here, bring this in here, L, F-I, L-I, F, L-I, U-I, down and here. And now everything's looking pretty good. Can I find my way home? Okay, I think this is gonna move down here. This is gonna move up here. This will move twice over here. This will move here, and this will move here. And there, you have it solved. So you have now solved the Neptune cube. We have gone through the entire solar system and uh, you found your way back home. And with every cube you started, it's amazing that every cube looks exactly the same when it starts, looks exactly the same as you scramble it, but uses rather different strategies in order to solve it, bringing everything back exactly the same way. Which brings to mind the quote from T.S. Eliot, and we shall not cease from our exploration. And at the end of all of our exploring, we'll be to arrive at where we started and know the place for the first time. Thanks for listening.